Hey everyone, welcome to this video of basically me showing you, showing off, I should say, my new, uh, de my new 2010, and I guess you could say 2011, because it's over here, and I'll get to that in a minute. But the new 2010 holiday movies and specials DVDs that I recorded over the three month period from October to December to well basically from Halloween time to about New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. And what we have here, I'm gonna list these down basically so you'll know what they are. And if you can and in case you can't read them, in case you can't read them, I will provide uh, a link in the description box for you guys to click on and it will take you to my DevonArt page and the DevonArt page that has this on there. So, or a picture of them on there. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go into this and let's talk about what I have here. Now, on disc one, on disc one, now, first of all, before I start with this one, I want to explain, just like I explained in another video, and you can find it on my channel here, it's basically under holiday videos and all that. Uh, basically, short explanation, I've been doing this since around 98 and 99, basically around that time, I've been, when I just was doing VH, when we were still recording with VHS, I was recording holiday movies and specials. And then when we got into DVD recorders, I bought myself a recorder and started around 2003 doing it. There have been a few years that I've missed out on some things. A few years that I haven't. Well, majority of the time I haven't, but there have been a few years in between that I've missed out. But anyway, let's get into, into what I have on each disc. Now, let's start with disc one. Disc one here, I don't know if you could read that, but disc one has first up a Disney Halloween. A Disney Halloween, in case you don't know, was a compilation made back in 1983, I believe, by the Disney Channel as a two hour special or an hour and a half special featuring, featuring some of the Halloween related animated shorts with the characters like Mickey and Donald and Goofy as well as they showed some scenes and clips from movies they felt were Halloween related Excuse me. as well as had the magic mirror help out with the hosting it, hosting and uh, overall it's a great it's a great hour and a half special if you've not seen it Google a tor Google its torrent, download it, you'll like it. Now, number two is Tiny Toons Night Goolery. This was one of the very last specials, I think going as far as 95, I believe, with this. Of the Tiny Toon characters. Basically, it's the parodies, basically the paradising or doing their own versions of certain um, Halloween related stories like the Gremlin on the plane and the Tall Tale Vacuum, whatever it's based on, things like that. So it's very interesting. Uh, if you can find it through Mega Upload, a hot file, that's great. If you can't torrent, find a torrent, download it like that. It's very good. And if you're a Tiny Toons fan like I am, it's a great thing to add to your. Excuse me. Excuse me again, your Tiny Toons video collection. Now, number three, Mickey's, number three is Mickey's House of Villains. Uh, this is basically, I think, the second um, House of Mouse movie that they made. And it's sort of in the same category as Disney's Halloween. But basically, it's also, well, basically, it's not just in that same category, but it's basically like any other House of Mouse uh, episode. It's a... Uh, story within stories. Basically they show all these animated shorts Halloween related Halloween related while at the same time Mickey and the gang are trying to you know win back the House of Mouse from all the Disney 
villains that took it over. So check it out. It's really good. Uh, number four, we have Underdog Thanksgiving Special. Basically, this is the 1960s, 70s um, Underdog episodes that were shown that day called Simon Says No Thanksgiving. It's all four parts put together as one. It's very good. Definitely check it out. You'll like it. Basically what happens is Simon Bar, Simon Bar Sinister goes back in time to try to stop Thanksgiving from happening. Underdog and Sweet Polly Purebred have to um, follow him to follow him as well to stop him from doing that. So definitely check it out. It's really good. Uh, number six two th is a 2003 Berenstain Bears Thanksgiving special. In other words, a Thanksgiving related 11 minute uh, cartoon. It's basically it's uh, it's based on uh, a book, the first time book of where Papa Bear uh, competes in his first pumpkin contest contest because one of his pumpkins is huge. So, but it does it is Thanksgiving related because it focuses a little bit on that as well. So, if you have not seen that, check it out if you can ever catch it. It's on PBS. You can even probably find it on YouTube and Daily Motion. But definitely check it out. Uh, number seven. Number seven, we have the 84th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Um, I've been recording the parade since about 99, I believe. And it's been a few years that I've missed out on recording it. But majority of the time I have recorded it. Majority of the time it's been on DVD and I think one or two on VHS. So it's definitely it's really it's really really good. It's, it was a really really good parade. In case you never saw, if you haven't seen it, then I suggest try your best to find it. You might be able to go to certain sites, Mega Upload, Torrents, or something like that. Find it. It's really really it was it was a really great parade. Definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. Uh, number eight. Number eight is the Cadillac Cats. Seven minute short or eleven minute short Christmas memories. Uh, basically this is not just a Christmas related uh, Cadillac Cats. You know with Cleo, Riff Raff, Hector, Words with the Mungo uh, episode. But it's also one of the origin stories. Basically of how they first met. Uh, the only problem I have with this is the fact that they should have paired this up with the Heathcliff related Christmas cartoon where he and Spike go to the North Pole and try to find out why Santa's why all the letters being sent to Santa are being sent back so you know that's the only problem I have with it but overall Christmas memories the Cadillac Cats cartoon definitely a good one check it out you can find that on YouTube uh, number nine is Tis the Season to be Smurfy Tease the Season to be Smurfy is the more recent uh, Smurfs Christmas special uh, made by Hanna Barbera. It's a very, very good. It's very, very good. I first saw it officially back in 2004. I know that's hard to believe, but that's when I first saw it. Um, I only recorded about 75% of it. I only recorded 75% of it. So um, I was determined basically to record the find the rest find the whole thing and record it and that's what I've done. So it's a, it's really really good. It's one of, I think it's one of the better Hannibal Barrow Christmas specials or holiday specials overall that you could find. Definitely check it out. <laughs> All right, number ten is Buzz Lightyear Holiday Time. This is basically a Buzz Lightyear uh, the adventure be Buzz Lightyear and Star Command uh, Christmas themed episode. Uh, basically, it kind of gives you an idea of how Santa does what he does every night, like how he goes goes from house to house. They even show how he can, how he's even upgraded to another means of doing it. So it's it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. I, I definitely check that out. Probably be able to find it, like I said, on YouTube and Daily Motion places like that. But really good. That's Buzz Lightyear holiday time Christmas themed uh, episode. All right. Uh, number eleven, Goof Troop Christmas. Now, if you don't know about Goof Troop Christmas, where have you been? It's one of Disney's.
best holiday specials they had done. Yes, people may also look at it as a Christmas themed episode, but it's a little longer by a few minutes than an average Goof Troop episode. I mean, yes, there have been a one or two occasions where it's been shown as part of the episode listings, basically as one of the episodes, but it's actually a regular, it's actually one of those rare Christmas specials. It's very well done. Uh, basically, the plot centers around Goofy trying to make uh, make the perfect Christmas for his son. So, if you've not seen it, find, Google it, YouTube it, down, Daily Motion it, find it, watch it, you'll like it. All right, and I apologize if I'm going a little fast here because the last time I tried to do this earlier this morning, I uh, I took up most of my uh, memory card. So, <laughs> okay. All right, number 12, Star Wars Holiday Special. Yes, it's hard to believe that I actually have the Star Wars Holiday Special. The Star Wars Holiday Special, in case you don't know, was a special released in 1978 on NBC. And it's considered one of the worst holiday specials ever. But it's also been known as one of the, one of the more unique and more unusual ones. And for me, that's why I downloaded it via Torrent and added it to my Holiday Specials DVD, Holiday Movies and Specials DVD because of its uniqueness and the fact that it hasn't been seen in over 20, in over 32 years almost. So, you know, that's why I got it. And it's a, it's a very good special. Um, well, it's not a very good special, but like I said, it's a very unique special, I should say, but if you have not seen it, try checking it out just for its uniqueness. I mean, I think what they I think what they tried to do was put it into the continuity of all three Star Wars movies back then, so who knows? But I can see why George Lucas wants to take a sledgehammer or a steamroller to all the copies out there and and basically destroy it. So, but it's very unique, so if you want to check it out, just check it out for its uniqueness. That's what I did and that's why I added it. All right, number 13. Number 13, Flintstones Christmas Carol. This, to me, is one of the better adaptions of A Christmas Carol. Yeah, they kind of fixed it a little bit. They kind of wrote it to the point that it has to fit into the bedrock timeline, into the bedrock, into the bedrock timeline. But basically, what the reason I like it, the reason I like this version, reason I like this adaption, and I consider it one of the better adaptions, is the fact that they actually, uh, uh, to me, to me, they actually vary from the theatrical play. Well, basically, what they do is they take a Christmas, they basically make, they take a Christmas Carol and they use it in the theatrical play, which the characters are part of in the special. But they also put it into real life as well. Basically, what happens is that Fred. And in case you've never seen the Flintstones, here's a little here's a little uh, hint about it. Fred, anytime Fred gets an opportunity, as say being on stage, uh, recording a record, or being uh, you know just doing anything that you know would make you look like a star, Fred basically lets the role of Scrooge that he got go to his head. So basically, that causes Fred's life outside of the theater play of the theatrical play of the of the Christmas Carol to become the Christmas Carol. You get what I'm saying? Basically, Fred's life becomes a real life Christmas Carol while he's doing the Christmas Carol. So it's very really unique. Uh, if you've not seen it, check it out. Torrent it. Find it through Mega Upload or Hot Files or whatever. Definitely watch it. It's one of the best. I think you can also rent it off Netflix if you want to. So definitely uh, definitely check this special out. It's one of the better adaptions of A Christmas Carol, and you'll see why it is, like I mentioned. Because not just what I mentioned, but you'll see why. Now, number 14, Yogi's First Christmas. Yogi's First Christmas, to me, is one of the best Christmas specials uh, ever made. Uh, to me, it, the reason to me, to me the reason it's one of the better Christmas specials is because not only is it a two-hour or an hour and a half uh, special or 98 minute special but it's because it's so good 
Uh, basically, the plot centers around the fact that Yogi and Boo Boo are accidentally woke up from their hibernation thanks to their friends, Huckleberry, Snagglepuss, Augu Daddy Dog, Doggy Daddy, and his son, Augie Doggy, waking them up with a singing. So basically, they get through a lot. They go through some mishaps. Yogi and Boo Boo go through some mishaps, but it's all. But it's thanks to the owner of the lodge, who comes up uh, for Christmas that year because of a, for business reasons. But it's because the owner of this lodge is taking a liking to Yogi, that Yogi is able to stay awake. Well, not stay awake, but basically, you know, not be sent back to his cave. So she takes a liking to him, even to the point that she continuously promotes him to different positions until eventually she promotes him to manager. And the other thing I like about this is they bring Cindy in. That's right. Now, a few, about two years, th two three years later, they did the All Star Christmas Caper, but there was no Cindy. Right? There was no Cindy. Here they brought Cindy in. And how they did this? Well, one of the positions that the manager of the lodge promoted Yogi to was lead singer of the Christmas carols. And what happened is basically the uh, lady tries to sing along with Yogi and his friends, but her voice is getting drowned out by all the male voices. So she figures the only way things are gonna, it's gonna, the Christmas carols are going to sound right is if they add one more female voice. And thus, enter Cindy Bear. So, and, and, and I love how they and I love how they write Cindy into this. Cindy is trying her best to get Yogi to kiss her, especially when Boo Boo introduces her to the mistletoe and what it's about. And the one thing that stands out, one of the songs, and they do sing in this, one of the songs that stands out in Yogi's first Christmas is Cindy's mistletoe song. So it's definitely one of the standouts. But overall, it's a great special. If you've not seen it, where have you been? Check it out. It's great. It's really one of the best of all time. Uh, number 15 is Disney Channel Christmas. This also was released around 1983 on the Disney Channel. Uh, basically, uh, just like a Disney Halloween, this is a compilation of a lot of Christmas related shorts with Mickey and Donald and Goofy and, and, and all the other characters as well. They have some scenes from some of the cl animated classics they have like a Christmas theme to it and it's hosted by Jiminy Cricket and the highlight is at the end when he does his own rendition or he does his rendition of You Wish Upon a Star so it's, it's really good torrent it that's how you have to torrent it you have to do a torrent on it because that's how I found it or you can watch it on YouTube in multiple parts but it's really really good so I definitely suggest checking it out if you can all right, number 16 is Jolly Molly Christmas. Yeah, Jolly Molly Christmas is number 16. Uh, this is basically a tailspin related, Christmas related episode. It's very good. Uh, it's a very good, I think, it's, I think it was one of the first, I think, I think honestly, no, I, it's not that I think, I know honestly that it was the very first uh, Christmas episode for any of the Disney afternoon shows. It was the very first Christmas episode, and it was it's well done. It's really well done. Uh, the plot basically, not to give much away, but the plot basically is Molly is writing is asking Santa is writing a letter asking Santa to make it snow for her mom, because her mom has not seen snow since she was a kid. So that's the plot of it. If you've not seen it. Check it out. You can probably find it on YouTube. You can find it on day, um, probably Daily Motion, but check it out. It's really, really good. And the last thing on there, of course, is Mariah Carey's Oh Holy Night music video. Now, we go over here to the second disc, which is my, which is disc two of my 2010 holiday specials and movies. And starting off, we have the Rankin Bass Christmas, uh, the first Rankin Bass Christmas special, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Following that at number two is the 2010 edition of Christmas at Rockefeller Square. At number three we have Charlie Brown Christmas, the now hour, you know, the hour-long edition where they have 
the original Christmas special along with some new Christmas shorts and segments. And number four, we have It's a Wonderful Life. The reason I added that is because it's my mom's favorite movie. Uh, number five, it's The Real Story of Christmas. This was basically a news Christmas special aired on the History Channel. And it basically kind of gives us an idea of where the origins of Christmas trees and Christmas lights and all that and anything Christmas related besides the birth of Jesus Christ you know come in how they all came about so uh, it's really really good and if you can find it by a torrent or make an upload I definitely suggest checking it out it's really good it's really insightful alright number six we have the Rankin Bass special Frosty the Snowman at number seven we have Frosty Returns at number eight we have the 2010 edition of WWE's Tribute to the Troops and this is the USA this is the USA Network two hour extended cut or extended version so and it's really good they, they did a really great job so I definitely suggest if you could find it on Mega Upload uh, somewhere or even a torrent download it you'll like it alright number nine we have the 2010 Nostalgic Critic Christmas basically Doug Walker does his own version or paradise version of It's a Wonderful Life and it basically just like It's a Wonderful Life where the guardian angel shows uh, George in A Wonderful Life what the life would be like if he wasn't around and how everybody would be miserable well in, the, in Doug Walker's uh, Nostalgia Critic special, in Doug Walker's version, it's the opposite. Nostalgia Critic's not, if Nostalgia Critic, it's basically it's the opposite, opposite. Basically, if Nostalgia Critic's not around, everybody's lives and dreams would come true. So, it's really, really funny. So, I definitely check it out if you can. Uh, at number, at, now, at number 10, we have Angry Video Game Nerd Holiday Memories. Basically, James Wolfe and his Angry Video Game nerd persona looks back at the previous holiday specials or related reviews that he did over the years definitely check that out at number 11 we have a Christmas story Ori, which is one of the best Christmas movies ever I mean it's no wonder TBS and TNT at times do 24 hours of a Christmas Carol every year it's that good number 12 again Yogi's First Christmas the reason, not only because it's good, and not only because I want to have another place for it, but it's also the fact that I didn't get the end credits, <laughs> you know, um, on the first disc. I stopped it before that happened. So, yeah, and Yogi's First Christmas is on here as well. And number 13, we have the 2010 edition of Walt Disney World's Very Merry Christmas Parade. The only difference this year is the fact that they aired it in the late afternoon early evening I guess because Christmas fell on a Saturday so I'm guessing that's the reason so hopefully next year will be different seeing as though Christmas will be on a Sunday maybe they'll have it in the morning we can only hope and then at number but it's really good really good check it out check it out and uh, at number 14 we have Huey Toon Moore's animated movie review Christmas special where he counts down the top 10 Rankin Bass characters from all the Rankin Bass Christmas specials. So definitely check that out. You can find that at thatfellowinthecoat.com. And then, of course, over here we have Dick Clark's Rocky New Year's Eve or New Year's Eve and New Year's Day special. Um, the reason it's on its own disc is because quite frankly I didn't really want to um, I, I really didn't want to um, you know record it and then wait another few months before something else came out you know I'll wait almost the entire year so I just went and re I just set it to the SP mode for two hours and just recorded it right then and there it's really good it's really good I really like it and um, Definitely, if you could torrent that, if you can find it that on Mega Upload or torrent, check it out. It's it's one of, it's probably one of the best ones they've had so far. They have a basically a duet at the beginning, I believe, with the Backstreet Boys and New Kids. So definitely, 
uh, watch it if you want to. So, you know, it's good. So just check it out. Anything Dick Clark does with Rocky New Year's Eve is great. So, Rocky New Year's is great. So overall, that's my holiday specials and movies for 2010 DVDs. Um, tell me what you think. Comment if you like. But again, these are my 2010 editions, as well as the 2011. Well, mainly because of New Year's Rocky, because of Rocky New Year special. But definitely, tell me what you guys think. Comment if you like below. Again, I will have a link in the description box of the pictures of where you can see them in case you can't read them here. And I will talk to you all later. Have a good day. God bless. Take care.